And they were like, no, we don't have any luggage for you. I was like, Buongiorno, my favorite people. How are you all doing? I hope this beginning of the vlog finds you well and the end as well, of course. I hope you're all wonderful. And if not, let me tell you at the very beginning that we all have good and bad days. And that if today is not the best one, tomorrow will be better. Well, we just arrived in Florence. I say we by you and me, not me and anybody else. I love Florence. I think it's one of the most beautiful Italian cities, but that does not really need any kind of mention. I think like everybody believes so. There's just something a little bit special, you know? I don't know, like I love that from certain parts of the city or most of the parts of the city, you can see the Duomo, just like the dome, you know? Like you can see specific like parts of the city. I don't know, like the River Arno. It's just like there's so much about Florence and honestly many times I stay at different places or parts of the city and it feels completely different even though it's such a small city I don't know how that is possible but it's possible and the reason why we're in Florence today and tomorrow it's for Ademar Piquet actually we came here for a special Carolina Bucci like kind of ladies I would say weekend but it's Tuesday and you guys know that my watch is the Carolina Bucci Ademar Piguet watch I love it so much so it's like perfect I love what Carolina does I think she's an extremely extremely talented jewelry maker and she does incredible with watches too now we're staying at the Four Seasons it's not my first time here I've stayed here before and in fact I vlogged from here before I feel like I, I was here maybe like three years ago I just got back to the room it's 11.20 a bit. We got up at five. I didn't sleep whole night last night. I slept like two hours in the living room. I was coughing so much. Gina's been waiting for so long to fix everything so that I can film and I cannot wait to open this. We just got back to our rooms and let's go. My dream would be to learn to do like... <laughs> oh, I looked completely different because I had very dark hair. Look how light is my hair now. I'm almost a blonde practically. Gorgeous bed. This looks like a cloud. We have, I think, like a dressing situation here. Ah, beautiful. It's a little wardrobe here, full-length mirror, like a luggage storage. Then we have, it's so cute, a bathroom. Hello. Can you see my travel outfit? Not really. But my luggage looks really big for two days, but that's because I am going straight from the trip with AP. We will be going for a trip with Chanel right after. So, you know. And then, may I just show you the most incredible garden. Now, I'll insert some clips of me when I was arriving because it was so beautiful. I think the property of Four Seasons in Florence, it's it, it's unmatchable. It's just, and it's also like only 10 minutes walk from pretty much main top city city center, especially because I'm staying at La Villa part. So I can actually exit on this side rather than that side. And then I'm just like 10 minute walk from like Palazzo Vecchio. So with that being said, you guys, let's open the suitcases. Okay guys, I think we gotta go. So I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a, this is an Alexandra, Alessandro Rich dress. It's really gorgeous, especially the back. Can you see the back? Wait, let me show you. My beloved. Prada shoes. Wait, wait, wait. So here's the dress. It's like a petal velvet. The dress code for tonight is elegant, so I think this is quite elegant. And this is the back. What I love the most in this whole entire world is that last night I was packing and I asked my boyfriend if he can come join. He was like, I need to shower, but um, I'll come for five minutes. And then I said, I have two events. One is colorful dress code, that's tomorrow night. And one is elegant. And he was like, okay, let's see what you're gonna wear. So he doesn't actually, he suggests stuff, but then I'm like, no, or yes, or I agree, or I disagree. But the best part about that is that like we bounce off each other. And then I even like remember some clothing pieces that I've had in my wardrobe like this 
this so yeah i think we gotta go down it says 7 30 it's like 7 20 now but i don't like being late i'm not late i just found on my computer a picture of me from the first grade ah uh, should i explain to you why well, anyway it's for a tv program basically i need pictures lots of pictures guys a picture of me as a kid I mean, my mom would hate if I say this, but I honestly definitely was not a cute kid. But I was pretty well dressed, I have to say, because my mom put so much pride in the way she used to dress me. This is the first day of the first grade. I was petrified. Let me just show you. Are you ready for this? Look at me in this, like, everybody's like casual, you know. My mom, like white tights, can you see? Or is this, I oh know it's the, the glare from the picture. She will make sure to send a better one. So I've got like white tights. I remember I had like white shoes, proper shoes. This was a shirt with like a huge collar, tartan jacket and a skirt. And this was my first ever school teacher. She played an immense, incredible role in my life. I, I loved her and I love her very, very, very much. She was my school teacher from the age of six to ten and played an incredible role in my development in every way shape and form why am i so like light is a bit strange anyway i was just opening my computer so i wanted to share it how random i have so many random pics like if i show you my baby pic i don't know if you guys are ready for this are you ready for this are you ready for this what is this even well, like, this kid doesn't look it doesn't look like a girl it looks like a boy oh god anyway yeah plus so i had that under my eye but then i always had like a very short hair also which is another reason why i never cut my hair now this was me i think at the age of like five or six again there's the like shade here but you can see i had that under my eye which kind of went away by the time i was eight but you've seen it before it was way 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 bigger anyway i always loved accessories you know so yeah this is like it's just crazy i am now going to leave and yeah i'll i'll catch up with you hopefully throughout the night we'll see how the night is if i can actually vlog i don't know we're heading somewhere so i'll let you know pictures don't do justice at all. Nah, this is like it's like the moon you see it in real life and it's beautiful and then on camera it doesn't even really? oh it's so gorgeous though Good morning guys, how are you all doing? Beautiful day in Florence, and pack sunglasses as well. Today we have a bit of a schedule, wait, let me show you without getting you dizzy too fast. It says, breakfast at leisure between 7 and 9.30. What time is it, please don't tell me. It's late. Okay, I have like, I have like 20 minutes. 9.45, departure from the hotel. Visit of the Opifico delle Pietre Dure and the Loretta Caponi Atelier, because it's all about jewelry today. Classic Italian lunch at Cantinetta dei Verrazzano and visit of the Cardina Bucci showroom for an exclusive frosted beads workshop. And then we're back at the hotel, we're going for dinner, etc. I think it's going to be a fun day, so I'm going to bring the camera. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you, how much it's going to be like sort of interactive and interesting for you guys, but I will try my best to present it all to you guys. I don't know if you can see my outfit of the day, if there's a better opportunity, I'll show it to you. I'm wearing my brown, the raw pants. This is a white classic tee from Isabel Moran. This is a Nili Lotan Cashmere knit. My MS shoes that I've been wearing on stop. That's it. Oh, that's not it. Here we go. Guys, yeah, so we made this to a museum of Pietre uh, Dure stones, but you know, hard stones like Malachite, Onyx, different kinds of stones, as you can see probably here. And it's really incredible what they can do with these stones. Karina wanted to bring us here because she likes this type of... Wow, look at this Malachi, Lapis Azul. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We were with AP in uh, Saint-Tropez. We did this quiz with stones, like you had to guess which stone it is from the story. And it was all in French. And you guys know I don't really speak French, but I almost won because it was quite, I, I love um, the hard stones. So for me, was like a very interesting i was like basically having the same amount of points as another lady in the quiz guys i just met love Neat. hi nice to meet you and do you watch my 
my vlogs? I do. I'm subscribed. Instagram, I love, YouTube. I love meeting you guys. Also in Florence. Uh, so random. It, well, enjoy your you, holidays. You too. I'm definitely, I definitely lost everybody. Okay. Please tag all your photos. I'm always like, ah, man, thank okay. you. Bye. Okay, guys, this is really like the best part about when I say that you guys and I have the best followers. I have the best followers. Like, there is no way. Like, every time I meet you, you're all so lovely, wonderful people that make my day. I lost my group. Uh, I just hope they didn't enter like a museum because then I will never find them. Basically, okay, I can see the two Frenchies, which are basically behind, like me, the bad girls behind. But um, yeah, Florence is so gorgeous. This is Geraldine. I'm going to show you now her outfit of the day. Can you please tell us what are you wearing today? So I'm wearing um, slim sandals. Let's see the sandals. Oh, see? Yes. When did you get them? I got them last month. Okay, so they're and in the season. I wore them with socks in Paris because it's freezing, but now here it's good. Love it. Uh, a gold jeans. Love it. A wavy top. I see. Very French, Parisian, little Parisian. Your just a bag. cash. This just is a box cash. leather. This is tadlac. Tadlac. Yeah, ah, so it's gorgeous. less uh, yeah, just, shiny. Yeah, I see. And I'm wearing my friend Vicky Raider Studios jacket. Beautiful. And sunnies. stripes on stripes. And your Ritz Paris. Bonjour. Et voilà. Okay. This is Geraldine's outfit. I'm going to show you everybody's outfit because I think there are some really. You have a special cool. mention, like. <laughs> Like, huh? Best outfit to do that. <laughs> So uh, wanna talk us through what you're wearing? Yes, of course. Start so, with the jacket, I love it. Yeah, the jacket is vintage, so I found this uh, in some it. place uh, where I live. Good. What about the and basic white t-shirt? So the, it's Sarah Men. Yes? Yes. Sarah really Men. Good quality, actually. Nice. Yes. So the back is uh, Chanel, of course. Is it new? Uh, it's from a new collection. Yes. 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 Nice. And your the watch? sunnies? Oh, the sunnies. Oh, watch. AP, of course. Oh, the Out of my PK. She's the sunnies? Uh, the sunnies are my favorites. It's totem. Uh huh. And uh, the boots are dear Francis. Lovely, lo lovely. And the Francis. skirt is H and M premium collection. And so make mix and match. I love that you mix it up and it looks so yes. <laughs> Most beautiful square in the world. I know I always say this when we're here. Piazza Signoria and Palazzo Vecchio. It's been by Chanel as always in Florence because it's a mandatory stop. But really, at the moment it's a bit busy. The best one that I made. It's like a very pastel, but at the back, it's like a very pastel. 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 Currently in Chanel, guys, trying something. Oh, how amazing are these pants! And also very soft, like beautiful, very comfy, but look at this view. Insane. Guys, I haven't even updated you. It is evening. Girls are shooting. I'm done. Wow. Looking. Well, I haven't actually shown Leah's outfit today. Oh. Wait, we're gonna show your outfit now. Me? Yes. You? Oh. Ah, so French. No, no, wait. <laughs> I don't play video. You should do. You should do. Pff. What am I doing? Yes. Let's show it. Wow. I wonder where it's from. Can you please tell <laughs> from us? From Lulu Studio. The top. Okay. Chanel skirt. Oh. And uh, Mariam. Uh, I, Nassir Zadeh. Nassir Zadeh. Oh, but the skirt is a killer. Yeah. I love how you styled it. I know it was a yeah. dress. You did well. Merci, ma biche. Guys, the venue is like pretty crazy. I have to be honest. Like, look at this balcony. And from here, you have all of this view of 
This is Piazza Signoria, the back. Oh my god, guys, look at this venue for tonight's dinner. It's absolutely gorgeous. Guys, your girl is in Belgrade. I don't even know where to start. Wait, let me position you somewhere so that I can uh, vlog this. So, anyway, I need to close my shoes. Where do I start? This morning I woke up at 4.30 and I went to bed last night at 1. So, I slept three and a half hours. This is a three and a half hours look like I can always see it around my eyes. I had to put so much highlighter. I had my first coffee around 1 p.m., which was very traumatic. Basically what happened is, so I flew from, this doesn't make any sense, but just listen to this. I took a 6.50 a.m. flight from Florence to Paris because there is no direct flight from Florence to Belgrade. So I, I flew like this to go back like this. So then I arrived in Paris. I was like all happy, all great, got out of plane and I had one hour layover and then I looked on the board and it says 40 minutes to the terminal where I need to go to 40 minutes and I came to the passport control and it said 45 minutes wait for the passport control so like 40 minutes plus 45 minutes I was like I'm never gonna make the flight like this is crazy so I realized I like I was like please like my flight is in an hour because like now we're getting into like a normal passport control where everybody that comes like three hours before the flight is you know there and I was like but I just have one hour layover you know like I need to make it so I asked around everybody they're like yeah my flight is in two hours in three hours on and I just basically went to like kind of cross the line because there was no way to make the flight with all my stuff I ran I went through the passport control then I ran and then I had to take like a bus to another terminal <laughs> then I took a bus to another terminal I got to the terminal and they called my name like to come to the you know when you're like boarding the plane to that like little desk so I'm like okay I'm at the gate I'm like hi you called my name they said yes I just wanted to check your passport I was like okay and they said you don't have any luggage right in check-in and I said yeah I do it just like left Florence like it's going straight to Belgrade and they were like no we don't have any luggage for you I was like we need to check because it's very important. I don't know if I told you guys, but my friend's getting married and I have her wedding shoes, like in two days, and I have her wedding shoes in my suitcase. And all I'm thinking is like, I need to make sure that, like I'm already trying to think of the plan B. If my suitcase doesn't arrive, I need to get her a new pair of shoes from Milan somehow, you know? So anyway, I'm like, guys, I'll give you my luggage receipt. So please make sure that my suitcase is on that plane. And she was like, sure, I'll, I'll do it for you, no worries. So I give her my luggage receipt and my luggage receipt, the way it got Printed, the number which is the most important part of the receipt got cut off she's like well we have no number for your luggage receipt so I'm thinking if my luggage gets lost I literally don't even have a receipt for it I got on the plane I was like super stressed so I put on some like positive thoughts video that I have downloaded on my phone I fell asleep immediately and then when I arrived in Belgrade I was so happy that my luggage arrived then I went for a little like 10 minute walk I had my first coffee I was like I ordered the coffee and the soup I know it like not the best mix but anyway and then I forgot the soup and they had to like come out on, on the street for me being like hey you forgot your soup because I'm so like I slept three hours and I'm so confused and lost to even where I am yeah but on the plus side tonight we're going for a Chanel event and I'm gonna wear my new pants how gorgeous uh, I'm just closing the shoes I wanted to wear these with the Chanel shoes but then I actually really prefer this look with my Prada heels and you know what I like to mix and match I go dressed up and I I want to show you my look let's see where i can do this i'm wearing my favorite balenciaga blazer the pants yeah you can't probably i can't see anything because sun is right in my eyes but a bit of belgrade Ta -da! that's it now i have a pretty intense schedule while i'm here but it's really good because i'm gonna spend the time with my parents however i have like few TV appearances, I'm gonna appear in a conference towards the end of my stay and then have to head back to London because you guys, I work in London so I'll be in London for a few days then I really, uh, yeah, anyway the schedule is intense so I'll just leave it there. Now let's head to Chanel. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers Don't care what other people say We're living 
guys we are still in Belgrade I'm about to go out with my friends for a little recap session of last night but I wanted to tell you so last thing you saw I was going to Chanel event and I got this pouch of beauty products that are I have to say incredible now there's well there are a lot of Chanel beauty products that I love like for example the browsing like universal bronzer I love the Eros pen I love the uh, stilo also like I have like the brownish reddish one there are a lot of Chanel beauty products like the body lotion you guys know the one that I use all the time my favorite fragrances are also from Chanel I mean it's like anyway a never ending story but I also discovered some new products now I want to show you in the order of oh no how much i love them wait look what i received like this little hair clip look at this hair clip with chanel how freaking cute also this like beauty bag i really love i think it'll be very 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 handy the new mascara this is not sponsored this is my honest honest opinion the noir allure is incredible first of all can we just discuss the packaging look at this packaging okay I'm still in Serbia, so here in Serbia you can get it at um, Yasmin, I think, is the beauty place. And I love this mascara because it has like a beautiful silicone brush and it separates and look how much volume it adds. Plus you can like keep adding it up, it doesn't like make your lashes like crumpy and clumpy and all of that. I really, really love it. This is their new mascara and the packaging is truly divine. Now, the second product that I rediscovered, because I already have it, but I think I got a wrong shade. This one's way better. And I also had, we had like Chanel Beauty Ambassador like talk us through all the beauty products and he actually showed me how to use this and he did such an incredible job. So it comes with a little brush. You put a pump on back of your hand and then you blend it in and then you do like this, like especially around the sort of like eye area. It's kind of like a concealery, you know, it's buildable, it's blendable, it's gorgeous. I really Really, really love the nice little feel it gives and this brush is actually pretty incredible so this is my second favorite product that I rediscovered then I mean it's very difficult I hate to say in the order but look at this for palettes it's in shade 58 intensity intensity now we use this to create an eye look and they're one more beautiful than the other for the fall I will try and link these below so that you guys can also check it out I keep dropping everything this is the camellia under eye cream and it's really nice because it's like very soft not greasy like very hydrating love it and another two products are like you guys know how much i love serum for lashes especially when it's like the type of serum you know that you apply under the mascara and now this is the one really love it and another thing that i love and i'm gonna buy another one in the shade lighter because this is shade brune but i think there's a lighter one when i want to have my lighter brows it's the brow gel love it so those are my new products from chanel i really love them we had an incredible day i learned a lot now oh my god i'm leaving so much mess my mom's not gonna be happy this is my outfit of the day i think i don't know i'm still kind of trying to decide this is the row dress you guys know how much i love the row it's very simple it's sunday morning you're watching this video today my balenciaga cagole and i was gonna put on the balenciaga blazer as well let me show it on to you i don't actually know if it's cold Tata! Da. El hladno napolju? Da. El napolju hladno? Ne čujem. Tata, ti ništa ne čuješ. Sad ne čujem. El hladno napolju? Napolju, 21 stepen. Great conversations with my dad. Anyway, I'm thinking this. The other option would be with the denim skirt, like a long one. Um, so, yeah. Here are some of the bag options. I guess this could work quite nice to break the blackness. And my, one of my best friends, he told me like, uh, he's so surprised that I'm wearing so much black lately. So maybe I'll wear this bag to please him, otherwise it's the black Kelly. The fragrance that I've been wearing a lot lately is this one from Hermes and it is the Betty Tonka fragrance. I love it so much. Mm. It smells like I don't know, it's good for this time of the year, but it's sweet, it's not annoying, I love it. Also, don't know if I've shown you, but this palette from Nars... <laughs> my dad still told it to me about it. Summer Unrated. Let's open it up. Now, fortunately, as you can see, I've broken one, one of the colors. But look at the rest. How stunning. Love this palette. I will also link it below for you guys. Guys, this is the best thing. It's very dark because um, of that. 
but I've been having a headache for four days. Maybe I suspect it's because I'm spending a lot of time with my parents. <laughs> for sure. Jokes aside, I love it so much. Nice to hear. Right? Maybe. Now it's on camera, so it's official. Anyway, guys, I have to finish this vlog here. I have one hour to go out as my parents allowed this 33 year old girl to go out for one hour at 2 p.m. So I'll see you later. Bye guys. <laughs>